Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Jason Phillips. He's a Simpson County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources. Now Jason, as the temperatures cool, we have critters and little invaders that determine that they might want to come in our homes. And so it'd be a great time before the weather gets too cold to maybe do some things, a preventative thing sure. to protect us from those. Well, I can't say that I blame them. If I was stuck <laughs> outside and it's getting cold, I'd try to find some heat too, because I know that's where we're going to be here before mm -hmm. too long. But you know, this time of year we do oftentimes, we'll see congregations of bugs, especially on the southern and western portions of our home, which tend to, tend to warm up more so throughout the day and get more sun exposure. So, uh, you know, the best thing to do is to be proactive and to try to exclude those pests from your home before they become a problem. Absolutely, because usually when we get the calls, it's they have the Asian lady beetles and they're all over their ceiling, but it's probably a little bit too late at that point. You right. know, the only way to really get rid of them there is to vacuum them up, mm -hmm. um, and it can be problematic. Yeah, it can cause a mess. And they are temporary home invaders, so, you know, they don't reproduce inside. Typically, we just recommend that you vacuum them up, whether it's the brown marmorated stink bug or whether, you know, the, the Asian lady beetle, it's sort of, some people call it the Halloween beetle because it's orange and black and it comes in around that time of year, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, typically that's when the weather's getting cold and it's trying to get indoors. Um, but normally with these, we don't recommend the use of insecticides. Um, but the best thing you can do is just prevent them getting inside in the first place. And they're pretty small. So, I mean, we're having to really look at our home and see where they might be coming in. Well, first I would direct people to our How to Pest Proof Your Home publication, mm -hmm. which is really good. But what it's going to talk about is exclusion and it's going to talk about sealing up those little cracks. So around windows, around the base of your doors, mm -hmm. uh, storm doors, anywhere that there's a little crack, believe me, they will find a way inside. But also it's gonna make you more energy efficient and save a little bit of money on your, on your heating bill. Yeah, so it's probably just good practice to kind of go around. Also like uh, vents that are around your home, a lot of times they can enter mm -hmm. through there. Um, so making sure that they're nice and secure and don't have any cracks around there as well. Yeah. I would just recommend that folks walk around their home and sort of look over it with a fine tooth comb around any windows. You can add caulk in places, you know, uh, around corners and any areas that you might think that they would come in. But, you know, I get a lot of phone calls. Once people get bugs inside their home, mm -hmm. they tend to get a little extreme sometimes, you know, and so I would caution people, you know, don't get too worried. First off, try to find those entry points and seal those up. Secondly, just vacuum those those bugs up because I have a lot of people ask about bug bombs and things like that. And we just really don't encourage the use of bug bombs um, and, and a lot, that many insecticides that time of year in the home, but especially bug bombs. Um, because oftentimes when they go off, the bugs, your target bugs aren't even where it can get to them. And, and there's some safety hazards there too as well. If you had that problem last year, I can almost guarantee you, if you've not made any uh, improvements since then, that you're most certainly gonna have those troubles again. And you mentioned the brown marmorated stink bug, and you know, we, we have those here, mm -hmm. but we haven't seen the masses. I and mean, I think that's the alarming part of that particular home invader is, because like in central Kentucky, we've seen the photos of the stink bugs that just cover the back patio, right. and they're in <clears> such <throat> a large number. And I, I haven't seen that here yet, but we've seen them in the homes, a few of them at a time, but not in those large army numbers. Right, right. I have found some inside, but just, you know, singles here and there, mm -hmm. but you can certainly see them in just absolutely massive numbers. The brown marmorated stink bug probably being the, the worst, but also the Asian lady beetles not too far behind it, which most of us refer to, you know, as ladybug. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, but both of them are something to watch. Pest proof your home, but if you still have problems, you can always contact the Extension Office. We have uh, publications on how to deal with fall invaders. Sure. We'll be glad to help you with that. We appreciate you watching the Farm and Home Show. We hope you have a great day.